What is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me superior. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, 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 I know there's 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 a big fucking hole there. It still hasn't been fixed. It probably won't be fixed for a long time. But you know what? We're going to just tape some computer paper over this or something like that. And we're just going to make it disappear. You'll never be able to know it was there. It'll be perfect. But we're not here to talk about holes in walls that I punched from getting mad at Call of Duty. We are here to talk about something. How the fuck did you get in here? How did you get in here? Look at this. This little guy just interrupted my video. How did you? You're not even supposed to be in the basement. How did you get here? All right. I guess I guess we're making the rest of the video with Willow. So I wanted to talk today about COD points, okay? They recently just added COD points into Infinite Warfare. And COD points in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 was a huge deal. Everybody hated it. How am I supposed to make a video with this, guys? Look it. She just won't get off me. She's just stuck. She's just like, I just, I love you, Willow. I love you so much. Okay. I put her outside. Hopefully, she'll leave me alone and I can make this video. <sighs> Women, am I right? Anyway, so back in Black Ops 3, they had COD points. And COD points is basically where you'd pay $2 and you would get to open one rare supply drop for the $2. The whole community got mad. They literally boycotted Black Ops 3. They stopped playing Black Ops 3. They said, listen, that's stupid that you can pay money to get better guns in Call of Duty. You know what I mean? It's pay to win and everybody hated it. Everybody was against it. And it was a huge ordeal. And I'm sure all of you guys remember it. So you would think that Infinity Ward was watching all of that. There's no way Infinity Ward was just clueless while Black Ops 3 was getting all of this hate. Like, Infinity Ward had to have been watching Black Ops 3 get all of this hate for having COD points and all of this hate for having weapon variants that you think they would have learned their lesson from, you know, the backlash that Treyarch got. So, why would they add COD points to this Call of Duty then? Like, they didn't even change the name of them. They didn't even change how they look. Like, it's literally the exact same logo as it was in Black Ops 3. Like, look, just look at the store. Doesn't it look exactly the same as when you bought COD points in Black Ops 3? Like, it's literally the exact same thing. They didn't learn from it at all. Now, I think the thing that I have the biggest problem with is that they added this thing to the game called salvage and salvage is basically something that you can earn through you know ranking up your mission teams uh if you buy the season pass you get like a thousand salvage and you can get a thousand out of supply drops and with that salvage you can go to the quartermaster um and then you can buy different weapon variants with that salvage so technically you didn't pay any money if you leveled up your mission teams and you can still get weapon variants for free without paying any money i played for four hours yesterday leveled up my mission team four times and got zero salvage if i play for four hours and get zero salvage how much longer do i have to play before i have 2000 salvage to buy the weapon variant i want like all i want is to be able to get a deatomizer strike like i have been grinding this game and i don't even have a weapon variant that has a deatomizer strike on it like i don't i can't if i can't i couldn't get a deatomizer strike if i wanted to right now purely for the fact that i don't have a weapon with that fucking attachment thing you do get a daily logon bonus where you get a free 10 salvage or something like that every single day you log on to call of duty so right now as you can see i have 279 salvage points and the variant i want to buy is the nv4 fallout because i want the deatomizer strike attachment i need two thousand salvage do they understand that i literally need to log on to this game 200 days in a row to buy that weapon variant so the daily login bonus basically doesn't count it's giving you like 10 salvage every single day that doesn't count for anything and when any good weapon variant costs 2000 salvage 
you know, 10 isn't anything. 10 literally isn't contributing to that at all. Now, another way you can get salvage is by ranking up your mission teams. Every, like, 6 or 8 or, you know, every time you just rank up a bunch of levels in a mission team, you'll get a reward. And it'll be a nice reward. You know, you could get 80, you could even get 100, maybe even 200 salvage, depending on what level you got the mission team to. But even that is still really tedious. Like, you're going to have to get your mission teams all the way to level 50 to have 2000 salvage to buy this fucking variant now the other way you can get salvage is by buying the season pass and if you buy the season pass you get 1000 salvage which still isn't half of enough for this weapon so with all that being said can you guys take a crazy guess on what the best way to get salvage is because if playing the game every day and leveling up your mission teams and doing all that doesn't give you shit for salvage hmm what could be the best way buying cod points ladies and gentlemen them adding cod points to infinite warfare changed the motive of opening supply drops to get weapon variants to getting salvage so you can buy your weapon variants it's the exact same thing as black ops 3 it's still a scam like i get you can it's just like you're buying supply drops hoping for salvage so then you can go and buy your favorite gun with the salvage rather than just praying you get the gun you want out of a supply drops it's tricky it's twisty it's manipulative and i don't like how they went about it it's still the same cod points it's still the same system but you're just opening up supply drops instead of hoping for your favorite variant of a gun you're hoping for a big salvage drop because there is no efficient way to earn salvage in black ops 3 cod points were added to the game so you could buy supply drops to get salvage bonuses or duplicate like salvage you know when you have you you already had like an emblem or something you'll get some bonus salvage since you have a duplicate that's why cod points were added to the game so you guys can get salvage not weapon variants i hate it it's tricky it's manipulative and honestly i think they should get more hate from Tre or more hate than treyarch got for cod points because they're doing the exact same thing they just twisted it around in a little bit more manipulative a way to where we're not opening supply drops for the weapon variants we're opening supply drops for the salvage so then we can buy the weapon variants and another thing i don't like that really doesn't make any sense to me is why isn't there a nuke variant on every single weapon like there's only like seven weapons that you can get in a deatomizer strike with in infinite warfare did you guys know that there's only seven weapons that have the atomizer strike variants on them like why why wouldn't they make it so like there would be like one variant of every gun with a deatomizer strike like that's just that's just a dumb decision that's just like like why why would they only like why wouldn't they make every gun have it like it doesn't make sense they have to be stupid like it does i don't know However, it does seem like Call of Duty has kind of been on the decline the past few years. You know, the numbers, the num you can't deny it. You know what I mean? The numbers show that less and less people are buying Call of Duty and playing Call of Duty every year. So if you look at it from Infinity Ward's standpoint, it's kind of like our game's dying. Let's just juice all the money out of it as we can. You know what I mean? And so i don't know maybe that's what they're thinking and if that's what they're thinking then that's really dumb and i don't like that that's kind of that's kind of scummy you know what i mean but i guess hey that's the world that's 2016 everybody fucks over everybody and the only thing anybody ever 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 gives a shit about is money so have a great day remember that fuck cod points don't buy them they're a scam but we already knew that but i just wanted to explain to you guys how they were a scam i hope you guys enjoyed this video if i hope i didn't i offend any of you because i think just looking back at this recording already i think i came off pretty pretty arrogant and ignorant so if you have any opinions or any discussions or anything or discussion starters leave them down in the comments i'll be happy to read them reply to them with an open mind consider your opinions and you know move forward from there and hopefully you guys are the same all right let's not have world war three in the comments so thank you so much for watching this video fuck cod points and have a great day peace out